What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a bit of a mixed media video for you today. So, I'm doing a simple mixed media background as well as using some circles from a leftover uh, video that I did a few weeks ago. It should already be uploaded. And I'm actually, it's kind of a bit of a kit crashes as well, because I'm using some of the things from the Studio Calico April 2016 kit, Project Life kit. So all I'm doing here, wait until you see the color hit this page. It's glorious. So all I did was I grabbed my spray water bottle and I sprayed it. And when you spray the water, it kind of comes out a bit spotty, I guess you could say, a bit splattery. And I used that to my advantage. So I just grabbed um, a paintbrush, a big paintbrush that I dipped in water and got some watercolor paint from my Jane Davenport watercolors and kind of plopped it on top but I made it so that I didn't plop the paint directly onto those feathery little spotty bits of the water patches I did it on the bigger splodges of water if that makes sense so that way the color kind of leaked into all of the little nooks and crannies of the splatters it was so fun to do so I'm going through my box of textures here and I decided to go for a bit of a pink and red theme and the good thing is with a black and white photo is that you can go with whatever color you like so I like black and white photos for that reason I'm using my ATG which is a glue tape gun thing majiggy and off camera I did add the tissue paper because it's a little bit fiddly added a couple of the project life cards from the studio calico kit as my layers instead of paper and I'm just adding a little bit of craft foam to the back just to bump it up a little bit from the background as well as a doily. That doily I got from Amazon. I bought a thousand of them because that's the only way I think you can buy them. And it's called, I think it's called Cambridge. That's the style of it. And it's a six inch. It does come in other sizes as well, but it's a really nice delicate doily. So then I've stuck my photo on kind of off center, which I like to do. And I'm grabbing this washi because I wanted to use it in the last kit crashes, but I didn't end up using it. And I just decided to go for this little for the record. Don't know why. I just, I just liked it. <laughs> grabbing some heart washi from my stash as well. And then it's time to try and use these circles. So this is a combination of a kit crashes and just trying to use a bit of a scrap stash Saturday, a little bit of both. So I decided to do something different than the original video that I used those circles in and cut them in half and kind of have a little shelf under my photo and then a higher shelf up at the top just to balance it out a little bit. Just using my ATG to glue those down and then I get the other circles and kind of sporadically, the smaller ones, sorry, the one inch and sporadically glue them on top as well and I just I like it it's different I haven't I don't think I've done a layout with half circles before I don't think but yeah it's a different type of shape I'm so I'm a very circly type of person I love any layouts with circles but half circles are a bit more challenging because they've got such a definite edge to them it makes them a bit more a bit more of a serious shape I know that sounds ridiculous but I don't know it just they're different to work with so then I grabbed some of the chipboard which had a lot of circles in it that's why I originally picked these circles off my desk because we had the little epoxy circle stickers and then there was the chipboard and these had been sitting there for a while so I thought why not why not actually use them for something so as you can see I'm just scattering around and if I add chipboard at the top I try and add chipboard down the bottom and same with these epoxy little stickers. I think I'm going to have to do something yellowy to use up the rest of them because there's a lot of yellow and orange on that sticker sheet that's still left over. <laughs> so then I stamped using the stamp set that came in this kit. I also just stamped it on a scrap piece of cardstock and I'm punching out a couple of one inch circles using my Fiskars circle punch and I decide to add those as well so stamps are a great thing they're very I really I said this in my last voiceover that I just recorded 
Stamps are really versatile. I need to use them more. I really do. That's, I think that's going to be my 2017 scrappy resolution. I know it's April, but what's your scrappy resolution? Let's make one now. So everyone think about some sort of scrappy resolution you want to make for the rest of the year. Just focus on one thing. Let me know in the comments below what's yours. Mine is to try and use my stamps more. It could be anything. It could be to catch up on a certain project. It could be to um, use a certain tool that you have a lot more. It could be to stop doing something that you seem to always do that frustrates you. Have a little think. What's your scrappy resolution? I'd be really interested to hear them down below. So I'm just using these alphas and doing our little title <laughs> always and forever is what we've always said to each other which is so original and romantic <laughs> and I'm just adding a tiny bit of journaling down the bottom and I really love how this one's turned out it's very it's kind of soft and flowy but I don't know all the clusters of circles I just really I really like rather than having a whole lot of different shaped embellishments I've kind of gone full force with the same shape if that makes sense if you want to have a if you want to challenge yourself try and make a layout with a repeated shape so you could do a ton of stars or a ton of hearts or rectangles or squares or that's my challenge for you if you want to have a go at a challenge for this week have a go at that and come share it in my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous. The link's always in the description down below. So I'm just going and adding a few of the tiny little elements. So some of those hexagonal sequins that were in this kit, as well as some little wood veneer, because you can't have a layout without some mini wood veneer. I really need, I really need to find just all the mini wood veneer in the world I just <laughs> I just love mini wood veneer it just finishes off I just find it finishes off a layout it's my new enamel dot if you haven't noticed I still love enamel dots but the thing about enamel dots that frustrates me is when you buy a packet there's only so many tiny ones and they're getting bigger and bigger I don't want big enamel dots I just want wee little tiny ones adding a bit of gold hardy shine here just to add a few little more little specks of color and magic and I think this is almost done so let me know in the comments below what your scrappy resolution is I'd be really really interested to hear what they are um, and also I really appreciate you giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps YouTube know what you like and it also helps other people be able to find um, videos that if they have a similar interest to you as well so I'm just doing a bit of a doodly border with just a black pen I just felt like the circles needed containing because it was getting a little bit wild there <laughs> and jazz fingers means I'm done so thanks so much for watching everyone and by now hopefully well he better be by now our baby to me should be out and so I'm still keeping up with my regular Wednesday and Saturday videos. Sporadically, you might get an extra weekly inky or a haul or a little something special. Um, but yes, so thanks so much for supporting me and following me on my scrappy journey. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.